there's a bird on the truck. Don't poop on it. Probably just attracted to all the uh, the poop. <laughs> That's funny, birdies. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. We are somewhere super awesome today. It's our surprise place. We are at Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. I'm with Rob today. We are at Legoland, Florida. We're gonna have a Bricktacular day and it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> it's, it said Bricktacular day, that's what the I lady know. told me. <laughs> but you're still a nerd. I know, hey. Hello friend, hello, hello guys. And this is a really, really, really long drive. It's a long drive. Yeah, it was just so much traffic and car wrecks on the freeway per usual. Because I-4 is quite, we have to pass through like all of SeaWorld, Universal, Disney, uh, Champions Gate, Four Corners area, um, Lakeland. It's very uh, I high. drank like three Mountain Dews. Three so Mountain really Dews. Yeah. <laughs> Trying we to get here. Potty. Go, go potty. But we're, uh, this is our first time here. So this is really exciting. Um, might as well, we're, you know, moving onward and upward. One more annual pass that we can go to. So this will just open up a whole bunch of other places that we can do. They have a water park here too. So when it gets a little hotter, we'll definitely show you that and spend the day at the water park. It'll be fun. We'll have to get a GoPro because they let you usually, but you have to have a chest harness. So Rob gets to wear the GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be fun. No, you... no you wear your rest guard. Okay. <laughs> you can't. You can't anyway. You get sunburned. So, hey, Deanna. Welcome from the UK. Awesome. Hey, Ashley. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Greg. Oh, welcome from Canada. Hey, Sarah. Oh, that's awesome. I'm excited. Hey, Tanya. Paula. Lavette. Hey, Corey, not today. That's where everything is awesome and everything is cool. You got it. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Maureen. Ashley. Awesome. Hey, Shirley. But it's cool when you're part of a team. It's cool when you're part of a team. That's right. The STM team. Yes. Hey, Bev. Evan, Jerry, Cindy. Margie, Kathy. Let's make sure I got everybody. Dieter, of course. I know it's a lot of uh, a lot of kids, really. Alicia, Wayne, welcome, welcome. Thanks for sharing. Yes, make sure you like and share the stream. So this is our first time too. We've never been here before, so I'm excited to see something different. It's a little cooler today. What is the weather, honey? Let's see. Legoland, yeah, they have a hotel and a water park here. So the annual pass, we got the awesomer pass. It's I guess there's like three different levels and there's only one more higher than the awesomer pass it's got the one where oh, you i thought it was going to be a play on words like some awesomest awesomer awesomer yeah, no awesomer. ours is awesomer oh gotcha yeah but we also get to go to a bunch of other attractions uh unlimited with this pass so it's pretty cool why not because you're gonna pay you know for a one day ticket might as well upgrade and get a little bit more up oh, security I'm sure it's like Disney. I'm going to have to turn you off. <laughs> so, oh, that's awesome, Cindy. Sounds good. I'm going to go ahead and put the cap on for now. Um, I don't know what their policy. I assume it is just like Disney. So give me one moment. You can hear me, but you can't see me. Let's just get their security really quick. I have a bag, so here. Yeah. Thank you. Come on, guys. Good. Oops, so sorry, my love. I'm tripping on the kids already. I just got here. <laughs> yeah. And it doesn't extend, Thank I promise. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Oh, oops, still got to go you. through the... Here. So I have to go through a metal detector, which is like universal, which is nice. 100%. Yeah, Rob always carries 500 pounds of change. Don't. All right. Do I get everything? I think so. All right. I'm beeping. Is it my belt? Yeah, keep my pants on, right? There you go. Thank you. Rob's got 500 pounds of change. Oh, here, I'll, I'll try it with the change and see if that. He has like 500 pounds of change. Change, okay. All right. 
Here, thank you for your patience. Welcome to Legoland, Florida. It's huh? Security. Your security is terrible. Is terrible. Oh, so the security is terrible. But you know, they got one guy working like four metal one detectors. One guy for yeah, for four metal detectors. You do have they do check your bags just like Disney, and they go through metal, a hundred percent metal and detector. You, just and you like, set the metal detector off, and he goes, "It's okay. It's go okay. Ahead. You're fine." <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're attempting. They're attempting. Um, did you want to go to the restroom real quick yes, and then meet me? Because we have to. We have to go pick up our annual passes. Just take my phone. Uh, sure. Yeah, we have a. Don't drop it. Get it to the page. I don't know how to use a Samsung Note 8. You know, I'm an Apple person. I'm like, huh? <laughs> I might break it. No, <laughs> but welcome to Legoland. Yay! We're not doing the shopping show right now. I think we canceled it until we get it all together it was just different um it was just uh oh you've never met oh cindy's never met rob rob is my my better half <laughs> that's he, right that's right he always so, joins uh there. oh yep got it there and then you just slide it over Got it, got it. Um, yeah, Pete joins me most of the time, like Saturdays on the weekends when we when we stream on the weekends and on Wednesdays because that's our normal days off, our Wednesday, Saturdays, and Sundays. Try to squeeze in one errand day in those two days, you know. <laughs> um, so I think I'm going to guest services because I already have a ticket. I don't know. This is confusing. Vouchers. Day tickets, ah, annual passes. Yep, that, that might be it. Teacher passes and coupons. Guest assistance, super duper park, super pack, no. Um, I don't know which line to get to. <laughs> A voucher, I guess, is what I have, right? Because I already paid for it? Yeah, that's gotta be it. <laughs> I'm going with it, guys, I'm going with it. This is our first time here, so we're gonna learn all this shenanigans together. It looks like the hotel is literally right there. So maybe I'll uh, take a gander there if we have time to check it out, because that would be fun to do. Yeah, the annual passes, it looks like there's four levels. There's a brick pass, an awesome pass, an awesomer pass, and then the awesomest. kids so we'll be fine it'll be fun it'll be something different um day tickets here i'm gonna read you the day ticket prices and all of that stuff luckily they have restrooms right there doesn't look too crazy okay it looks like one day one park ticket because there's a, also a one day park ticket for Legoland and Legoland water park. So a one day, one park Legoland Florida ticket for ages 13 and up is $93.99. And then for, actually it says ages 13 to 59. So ages um, three to 12 and 60 plus you get 80, it's $88.99. So you get a Better deal if you're three to 12 and over 60, so they have a senior discount. That's really cool. Um, yep, so that's a for a one day, one park. And then for Legoland and Legoland Water Park, it looks like it's 116.49 for three, for ages 13 to 59, and then 111.49 for three to 12 and 60 plus. So you get a little bit of a break if you're very young or 60 plus. So that's really cool. All right, so thank you, Nigel. Welcome. Thanks for sharing. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. And then the annual passes. Yeah, it looks like they've got some coupons too, or you could add on the Coca-Cola Sea Life and Madame Tussauds, um, which is the package we got. So it, it's like pretty much an annual pass for Legoland, Legoland Water Park, Coca-Cola, 
experience sea life, uh, the Orlando Eyes, the Coca-Cola Orlando Eyes, sea life, and Madame Tussauds. That's the, the package we got. So we got the Awesomer Pass, which includes a uh, year membership to all of those, uh, an annual pass to all those attractions. Because we're trying to aim to bring you more fun attractions in the around Central Florida area. I haven't even gotten there yet, so good. I was just reading them the prices. So, you know, I got to the single park ticket. So definitely, if you can get an annual pass, if you're going to spend more than one day here or do more than one attraction, it's definitely worth it just from the prices, you know. And you want to do those other things. If you want to do the Wax Museum, the Sea Life Museum, uh, ride the Orlando Eye, because that's awesome. We've not done that. We've literally stayed across the street from it, <laughs> you know, the last two years for Megacon, but not gone on it. So we may be able to do that if we have time, like, that Thursday or something when it ends really early, you know? So. I may be too tired. What's the awesomely one? Yeah. Oh, here, you want to read uh, those passes? Awesomest? The, oh, the awesomest pass, the difference between that one, the highest pass is the awesomest. It's 199 99 199.99. That also 12 months ad admission to all 29 U.S. Merlin attractions. Merlin is the company that owns Legoland, so you go to like every Legoland in uh, California also. So it, but I didn't need that because we're not going to California to go do that. But it's basically all of their U.S. locations also. So, so an extra 50 bucks you could do the parks in California as well. So. All the Legoland theme parks in California, plus everything here in Orlando for 200 bucks. Which is, you know, these prices are cheap compared to Disney tickets, you know what I mean? Everything's relative, but... <laughs> yeah, but unless you do a lot of traveling, that might not that be That might not be anymore. good. I mean, if you're bi-coastal and you go to Florida and in California a lot, because I know some people do have that coast-to-coast um, -coast, uh, Disney pass, which is extremely expensive but I've met guests that have that because they travel. Like, they're based in California, and it was cheaper for them to add Walt Disney World to their annual pass because California annual passes are a lot more expensive than ours. They start off way higher. <laughs> so adding on Walt Disney World was an extra just 400 bucks for them. So I don't know what it would be vice versa because we'd probably have to tack on 700 bucks to to our Orlando, you know, Walt Disney World annual passes to do that vice versa. But there is such a pass, if you are so inclined. <laughs> um, I always, uh, they want to do my OOTD. I'm very basic today because I don't have any Legoland here. I don't have any Legoland attire, so I'm just wearing my... Oh, it's still facing. <laughs> I just have my Haunted Mansion Phineas Gus Social Club. Just wearing jeans. Oh wait, and then I gotta go tie my shoelaces. We gotta find some Lego clothes. <laughs> we don't have anything fancy on today. And just sneakers. Cause it's a little chilly, but all I have is Disney clothes. So that's what we got. Phineas, Gus, and Ezra Social Club. Yep. I need to get some Lego clothes. <laughs> Maybe I'll find a cool t-shirt to buy today. So we'll see. I want one that says everything is awesome. Everything is cool. <laughs> We're gonna find a cool shirt. We'll see. Let's see. Yeah, it is 72, but it's overcast. You know, we, we get chilly if it drops below 80. Ooh, Lori's got a good idea. Make a Lego set of ears. Totally. Yay. Yeah, I do need some uh, Lego ears. That would be fun. Or make what other, uh, like. Except your. Except Lego's not really good. Right, so we'll have to maybe make something else. Yeah. I will look for inspiration today because I will figure out um, some inspirational things to wear. So once we get in the park, it'll give me inspiration um, to make some kind of headband. I will. We will just maybe make a headband out of Legos. Might be heavy, but we'll see. Got a Wonder Woman outfit on. See, everybody's got a whole bunch of different clothes on. Oh, they got some new jogger outfits. Oh, I mean, they have so many kinds of Legos now. Like, they have all that yeah, Ninja Ninjago stuff, and they have the stuff that Tori uses, the little girl stuff. What is that? That fairyland? The girl Legos. What is it called? 
I don't even girl know. Legos. Girl Legos. Girl Legos. Yeah. That's what I call it. Because our niece, that's what she wanted for Christmas. They have that new fairies. Is it the fairies and something? Like for girls, they have a whole Lego like line for girls now too. I played with boy Legos because that's all they had. I don't care. <laughs> you know, when we were little, I had like a fire station, uh, fire truck. I had fire trucks. Uh, I, was gonna say, I don't know that they were. Yep. Oh, we get a lanyard, I think, because we're on your buses. Hi. Hi. Uh, what are you doing? Doing awesome. We're claiming our two awesome uh, annual passes, so we're pretty excited. Great. I'm going to write the numbers down. There's the brick, awesome, awesome, which is the one we got, and then this is the awesome. Oh, did you um, print it differently? Okay, write this. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Screenshot it. <laughs> I got the screenshot is easier. Perfect. It works. <laughs> I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna get some awesome pass. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Yay. And then we get a lanyard and everything. So. With the pass we got, Ooh. yeah, these are all the, you get different levels, but I think this was the best um, deal. I mean, you and you get 20% off of the hotel and beach retreat, and then you get free parking. Free parking is everything, because the parking was $17, um, $27 for preferred parking. So that's, um, that's kind of neat. But you also get the unlimited admission to Coca-Cola Orlando Eye, the Coca-Cola Orlando Eye, Madame Tussauds Orlando, Sea Life Orlando, and Legoland. Can I see your phone one more time? I think I probably put a number off. Sure. In Legoland Discovery Center in Atlanta. Oh, we can go to oh, the one in Georgia, too. Is the first one is for Rob? Yeah. Okay. And Rob, what is your date of birth? We'll go over here. <laughs> we don't. She's like, I don't want to tell anybody how old I am. We feel old. <laughs> oh, Lego friends, gotcha, Dan. Lego friends, thank you, thank you. Friends for girls, gotcha. Oh, that would be cool, Christine. That's a great idea. Elvin, oh, neat. Oh yeah, the Lego Disney Castle looks amazing. Ooh, looks like fun. Ooh, that's cute. They are addictive. So many ideas. Oh, can I make a stick up picture? Oh, I can take drinks. <laughs> Hopefully they make you smile and not 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 smile. <laughs> but that's all the different past tiers here. I think that's the best deal though. I mean really. It's ten dollars difference between the awesome and the awesomer. If you're a non Florida resident, why wouldn't you just go pay the extra ten bucks and have that option, you know? If you're down here for a Disney trip anyway or universal trip. Squeeze in Legoland. I know the kids love it. Like you guys have been telling me, the kids absolutely love it. So why not? If you have small ones, little ones that adore Legos, this has got to be the place for them. It's definitely more kid friendly as far as like having not crazy thrill rides. Definitely more for kids, right? But I don't mind. All right, my turn. Here. You ready for your picture? Oh, sure. Hang on. Here we All go. Right. Bobby, you're, you're in charge. No. Let me win. Thank you. One, two, three. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. That looks good. You gotta show that for a show. Absolutely. So I have this thing. Okay. And yours is printing right now. You have three more breaks to collect. These are collectible breaks for when we open in Jago. Nice. For special events, yeah. Very cool. Collectible bricks. Yay. And this is Rob's pass. He has a pass now and you get a lanyard so you get to wear it. It's awesomer. It's awesomer. That's cool. And here, keep your brick. And I'm sorry, the passes that has lines on them, but they work perfect. You're good. It's there all good. There we go. Y'all have a great day. Much. And I have mine. Yay, we're official. Thank you, Thank you very You're much. Welcome. Got my pass. I'm gonna run over there real quick. It's my turn, so I'll put that in the bag. Okay, you put that in. I'm gonna go in there, entertain everybody for five minutes.
a little overcast today. I'm wondering if it's going to rain on us. Here's the entrance. Oh, there's a giant dinosaur. See how our new cast works. How are you, sir? Good, how are you? Great. Is that a stabilizer thing on yep. there? Yep. You know, one of the YouTube videos I watch of it are here has a stabilizer and boy, it, it makes a big difference. Yeah. Does that run off batteries in the camera? Yeah. Well, no, it, uh, this, the handle so, has its own oh. battery. Yeah. Keeps it nice and stable. Does that work on a selfie stick also? Um, no, it's just on, it's, the, the phone is connected to the actual oh. unit, so. Pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> so right here as you come in, you've got all the convenience things here. You've got the lockers, the strollers, and this is also apparently where you do your photo pickup. Pan back to the other side, and apparently it looks like that might have been like a place to convert to an annual pass. But we just bought it; we just got a full thing here. So, and we've got giant Lego dinosaur leaning out. Oh. Looks like the rain has done a number on him, though. But he's leaning out over the walkway. Oh. Man, I walked past this guy and didn't even see these two guys working on this big break. I believe there are rides here, yes. Mary, it's the uh, it's the DJI Osmo Mobile. Most of the rides, I think, are geared for young kids, though, small kids. So we'll see if we can actually even get on them. <laughs> no, it doesn't look too crowded today. He's working hard to live that big break. And there's another big Lego sculpture over here. Liz, I'm not sure I understand what the giant balls are at the end of the rainbow. What's with the rainbow fruit? I don't know. Hanging off the end of the rainbow. I'm not sure. But I got um, character meet and greets. And, ooh, they have a battle for Brickbeard's bounty. We should watch that at 2.15. The ski adventure. That might be fun. Well, yeah, I think it's a rainbow. But it's got, like, rainbow fruit hanging off one end of it. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that's about. Special events. No, I don't think it's the dragon's tail. Because it's coming right out of the ground right here. It's coming right out of the ground. It's a rainbow. But it's got rainbow fruit. That's a new thing. That's a new thing. Starburst careful, careful. No. Hashtag rainbow fruit. Hashtag rainbow fruit. You got it. Here, I'm going to let you study the map. You be in charge because I don't know where I'm going. I'm oh, I don't know where I'm going. But you're better with the maps than I am, are you not? 
brought, uh, they give you a nice big map here. Probably since this one isn't talking to you. Hmm? I said I'm probably better with the maps since this one isn't talking to you and telling you what to do. <laughs> Yep, there's a. Does I, it there's, say there's an ice cream hut. Where you, uh, you are here? Do we have a you are here? Probably. No, it's, I mean, oh, it's the entrance right there. there. Okay, well, easy enough. It looks like it's easy enough. Oh, and there's maps. Okay. I, I think we're. I think we're probably just gonna wander. We're just gonna wander. I do want to see that show at 2:15, the ski show, the Blackbeard's Bounty. Looks good. Like they have a water ski show. Cause this used to be Cypress Gardens. That much I know that. Um, right here, sweetie. And it even tells you on the top of that map, like, what's gluten-free and stuff. Like, options and allergies for the kids. Um, yeah, there's a shake shop. Oh, there's a coffee shop. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Like, it lists right on the directions. Like, if you have food allergies, especially the kids. Gluten-free, vegetarian, burgers, fries, milkshakes, slushies. Pork options, I see, which is kind of nice, which is important. A lot of kids have allergies. Very, very important. So we got to make sure what we can and can't eat. But it looks like, ooh, the apple fries. I've heard about those. There's a buffet. But that coffee shop might be calling my name. So we'll see what we can find. I'm hungry. <laughs> yes, the ice cream parlor. Today is it. Oh, there's fried chicken too. Word. And a burger kitchen. Mmm. Okay. Sounds like there's a lot of really good... Yeah, this one. Nice. The Pirates Co. Battle for Brickbeard's Bounty. Yay. Where is that? Yeah. Where is Brickbeard? Well, we want to do that for sure. It's got to be on, on the water because it's a water Pirates show. Cove. It's over right here. there. So we got to get almost more than halfway through the park. Okay. Let's move At it. 215? At 215. We got about an hour. About an hour. Oh, so it should be plenty of time to wander. So we'll uh, check it out. I'm just excited. I know that this used to Psycho be... Shop? Cy yeah, we'll hit the that. Big the big shop. shop. It is the big shop. I'm going to give this to you. I don't, don't have pockets. I don't want it. You don't want it? Oh, there's a coffee shop. Is it like Starbucks? I'm just curious what they got in here. Because coffee, it calls me. But even the coffee shop is so cute. How? Now we got our little yellow passes. They're so bright. Oh, it's all attached. Let's check out what they have. It's like a big food court, it looks like. Restrooms. You get restrooms, food courts. Oh, it's just a little kiosk. Ooh, wait, there's baked goods. <laughs> Danish chocolate cake for breakfast. Muffins. Okay. Want to see what you have? Checking it out. Nice coffee. Oh. oh, rice crispy. Oh, did you, oh, you didn't see the rice crispy sushi platter? No, I missed that. They have a rice gummy? crispy gummy sushi platter. Is that, that is cool. That you Oh no, I don't know. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, uh, Eminem. Rob's diving in. He's diving in. Well, I have to test it because you have to test the food. because Disney's are not good. Okay, yeah, he tests rice crispy. But Universals are delicious. Yes, so he, he is a rice crispy treat tester. Just one? Yeah, yeah, just one. He loves his rice crispy treats. Oh, you have to right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Go. See what they have over here. There's more food. Oh, that's the ice cream place. I think that's where I'm going. <laughs> soup, some extras, chicken noodle soup, and cheddar and broccoli. Hey, Joe Ellen, Bob. I know her scene is not good. I love ice cream. Yep. Just want to see what kind of food they have, you know, because this is all new to us. They got grab and go items, not very much, but they have soup and stuff. Oh, they have a build a kids lunchbox combo for $12.99. Sandwich, chips or pretzels, juice or water, and then fruit. That's not bad. And definitely food wise, I want to try that fried chicken. For eight a shake, that sounds interesting. It's right up my alley. <laughs> Oh, 
Or, I don't know, he's got the face. He's got the face. Did you show him your very first picture? You don't see anything in here you want, right? It's got good flavor. Okay. But it's not gooey. It's, it's not dry. It's hard. Okay, good flavor, but hard. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Tastes good. Tastes good. Tastes really good. Universal is still okay. Yeah, Universal makes better, makes the best Rice Krispie theme park Rice Krispie treats. They put a lot more marshmallow fluff in theirs, I guess. It's just got, they've just got more marshmallow fluff. There's just not enough fluff in there, I think. Okay. Oh, they've got a refresh and refill. Do you have, um, maybe we'll get one of those sodas. Um... Since we got an annual pass, we might be able to. I always try to buy these things, so where do you buy the cup? Because it's probably like the same deal like Universal, where you buy it once and you just bring it back every time you come. So. Yep, this is probably. These are always your best bet because you can have, you know, not just soda, but Gatorade. They have sparkling water, which I love, the sparkling water vitamin C water, all of that good stuff. It's a freestyle machine. So you're learning with us today. You're you're le learning yeah, we're just learning all of this. So the souvenir cup, you can probably bring it back, right? Every time. Only on the day of purchase. Ah, free refills. Oh, additional oh. days of unlimited yeah. refreshment only for $5.99 a day. It's just yeah. like Universal. So it's exactly the same thing. And I have a carabiner with me so I can just hook it to my bag because it has a hand. I have a beaner. I always bring carabiners. That's one of my pro tips. I think it's cheaper than Universal. Yeah, Are Universal's is like fourteen. Seven? Yeah, For no, it's six bucks. Six bucks. It's the same thing. Oh, wow. Same thing. So we'll go purchase one of these things. Um, yeah. Okay. One design makes it easy. We'll get one of these babies, and so we have soda for the rest of the day, or um, bubbly water, I guess. And yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 10%. Annual pass, hey, 10% on the annual pass. That's awesome. I'll take it. <laughs> Always ask for your pass. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Well, you know what? I'm going to sell a lot too. I have a lot of them. Yeah, I did. Ooh, there you go, guys. Welcome, Cynthia. We welcome. Welcome, Joe Ellen. It says you get 10% on all food and retail with the annual pass. So that's a bonus. <laughs> and yep, I brought it. Yeah, we love the little refillable sodas. It's such a good deal. That's definitely a pro tip. But line, we're backing up the line here. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, free refills for the day, and then just bring it back every time, right? And then just yes, for tip five ninety nine. That's awesome. And thank you guys. You guys have a great your day. Thank you very you much. Too. I brought a carabiner because I bring carabiners everywhere, and we're just gonna hook that up here, sweetie. Go ahead. Sorry, I'm just slow. Don't mind me. <laughs> Two cups. I'm getting All right. Alright. Oh, so. All right. Alright. 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 It says that you get 10% off all the food and drinks, but the nice thing is you can keep bringing it back, and then the next time you bring it back, it's only $5.99 minus 10% to refill. So you're, um, you, I always buy the refillable mugs everywhere we go because it is really a good deal. I'm going to give you the Beaner Beaner. I carry little, I know they have the big mom ones, like the giant carabiners, but I carry like the three inch ones everywhere I go because I have things to my backpack. So when it's not full, I don't have to hold it or carry it or lose it. 
So Walmart, get a bunch of carabiners. I have a whole plethora of them at home, just Did attached. Did that say unlimited refills for the next 10 minutes? 10 hours, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, and then you just hook, I'm just gonna hook that on. That way it's ready to be hooked on once we're not drinking it. Don't lose the straw. I like the straw in there. We tend to lose straws, those straws in the cup. You tend to lose the straws because I don't use them. Right, right. We got. Pepper and Roni's Pizza Stop. That's cute. I like it. It looks really cool. Do they have brownies? Brownies? I don't know. They have cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, and veggie pizza. Double snack carousel. Yeah. What? Nice. Get your pizza. That's right. Pizza here. That's awesome, pizza guy. He's always yeah. Hey Jonathan, welcome. They always like I know Tim always features this guy when he used to have the mustache. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's why he's always in all his videos. Pizza guy. You got a Lego factory. Studio store. Studio store. So we got a lot of shops to hit on the way out, which is good. A Lego oh fidget spinner. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. How to make 23 pieces to make a fidget spinner? That's, that's, that's complicated. Ah. Uh, oh, was that Wild, Wild Child? What's her name? Wild something. Yeah, Wild Child. Wild Child, yep. I was supposed to watch a Lego movie last night, but I fell asleep. <laughs> what do you call a crate of ducks? A box of crackers. <laughs> Jokes, right? Do you like know it. which is the strongest of birds? A crane. <laughs> A crane. But um bump. Okay. He's funny. What kind of birds do you usually find locked up? Jailbird. 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 Yeah, got that one. <laughs> yeah, basically came home yesterday from work and and went to bed because I knew we had it's Emmett and Wild Style, not Wild Child. Emmett and Wild Style. Emmett. Wild Style. Yeah, I saw that Wild Style. Yeah. Looks like there are no crowds, Kevin, so that's awesome. How you love sweets, Paula says. No, I've never been. This is my first time, Ken. This is our first time. Yeah, this is our first day here. We got awesome our passes, so we'll be coming back more. So We're here. We're going to jump on all the rides. We're going to knock over little kids. <laughs> it'll, it'll be mayhem. No. Maybe not. Maybe not, but there's Wild Style and Emmett. Okay, and your double stack carousel? That is awesome. Ooh, I'm so, like, torn. Where are we going? Oh, Lego Friends. Thank you. That's right. You guys told me that. Lego Friends. So this must be the girl Lego section. Shopping mall. I want to no, see. No, we're not going there. We're not going there. We got Granny's Apple Fries. They're supposed to be There's famous. Apple fries. But I want the fried chicken. I want the fried chicken. They're famous for the apple fries. We're supposed to try them because they're kind of a thing. Ooh, oh, we're with... getting a new virtual reality poster. What? Nice. So. Yeah, we are. No, it's awesomer. She said it's awesomer. Cool. Oh, they got uh, Dunkin' Donuts chilled coffee. Mmm, we'll have to check that out as a snack. I'm more hungry hungry. I haven't eaten a thing since yesterday. Since like, oh, since my lunch yesterday. I had that 3.30's uh, Brussels sprouts. So I haven't eaten in almost 24 hours. Valley. Yeah. Well, we'll check it all out. Do you have your map? Are we going the right way? <laughs> no, we're not going the right way. We're not? Oh, okay. So we'll go, we'll go up this way. <laughs> you got the map. I said read the map. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> there's really only like one way to go, baby. Yeah, but I mean, there's just little branch offs, I guess, right? We'll have yeah. to check the branch offs on the way down. We're heading towards like well, Pirate's we Cove. Keep yeah, we just keep heading back. We'll check out this. So we have two wings to check out on the I mean, way back. Sleepy, yeah. There are an awful lot of shops. That's fun. So I should be able to find a really cool shirt here. So I want to find a cool shirt. Penny press machine. Fun 
Yes, I'm gonna have fried chicken for you, girl. You know I will. Ooh, that looks fun. Fun town theater. This is like a whole new world. This is fantastic. It's like a whole new theme park. Oh, they're showing some Ninjago, Lego Ninjago, Master of the Fourth Dimension, Lego Nexo Knights 4D, The Book of Creativity, and the Lego Movie 4D, A New Adventure. That's pretty cool. That might be fun to do like after All lunch. You can eat pizza and pasta. What? All you can eat. So if you're hungry, hungry, hungry. You get an all-you-can-eat-and-drink pizza pasta. That would knock me out. I'd be asleep in a corner. All-you-can-eat all you salad. Salad. That's what we yeah, get. All-you-can-eat salad. No, I'd have a cheat day. So it's we will have to try some of their food just so that we can let them know how they... Uh, how it yeah, exactly. Aw. Okay. That's awesome. When it was Cypress Girl Gardens, yeah. We're ready to shop, girl. I hear ya. Yeah, we're postponing the shopping show for a little bit. There was too many technical difficulties. I do have you guys as pins, uh, Tara and uh, Pam, um, and we'll I'll mail that out to you on Monday, which is Monday. <laughs> Can't mail anything yeah, out Monday tomorrow. is Monday. Monday is Monday. But that's good to know they have a buffet. I mean, that's Disney quick service prices, $16. Ooh. I know. I'm like, Doug, honey, look. I was just looking at the ride. I'm like, Doug, squirrel, squirrel. Oh, this looks intense. I don't know if I could go on that. We'll see, we'll see. I didn't realize they had such thrilling rides. Oh, it's spinny, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, wow. That looks cool. That's pretty thrilling for a kid ride. It's a little like. Yeah, because none of them are wearing backpacks. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Ken. I don't see huge crowds, so. And it's a Saturday. This is probably the busiest day of the week. Oh, there's the lake. Gorgeous. I do want to walk around because I know there's some historical parts to it because it was before Cypress Garden. So, yeah, I don't remember. I was probably too little to remember. I know I've been to Cypress Garden once, but I don't, I don't remember. They got a marathon. Brick Ooh, Dash 5K. Brick Dash 5K. Best supermarket ever. Ever where shopping is a pleasure. Publix I've is the supermarkets all over the country. And Publix is up there. See, it is the best. Publix, is, well, Publix is one of the best. Yes. I, I will admit I've been into some pretty nice Safeways. In California, yeah. Yeah, in California, they've got some real nice Safeways. But as far as quality of food and everything, Publix, Publix is, is the best. Publix yeah, is, it's the Florida. The it's the Florida chain of supermarkets. They go all the way up to Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina now too. They pushed. They pushed uh, Kroger out of yeah, Florida, they've, and they've they've really kind of killed Albertsons and Winn Dixie struggling too. I think. Yep. No, I didn't bring my C band, but I'm not gonna go on that. Oh, that's awesome, Liz. Oh, it's like the Daytona 500. Yeah, it's a Lego Daytona. Lego Daytona. That is awesome. All the mini cities. Ooh. Mini Kennedy Space Center. This is amazing. Oh, that's what you were talking about. A new virtual reality coaster. Yeah, I thought you saw the sign. That sign was over there by the Duplo yeah. land. I heard you say it, but it didn't process there for a minute. Look I'm like, oh, look at all the people uh, watching the Daytona 500. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of people. But look at this baby. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. I want one of these for my house. It launches. You want to launch? launch is 30 minutes after park closes. Nice. I know. Me too, girl. I was, we were singing Wait, here. We 30 were... minutes after park closed? Yeah, right? Okay. Do they not kick you out at park close? No, most park zone because they have to clear the park. They still, once you're in line, by the time of close, you still have to get all those people through the ride, remember? Because that's um, kind of the rule at almost all theme parks. It's as long as you're in the line or you made it through the queue. Oh, South Beach. It's South Beach, y'all. South Beach, yes, it is. You sure? I know my South Beach. 
It's Miami Beach. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. the Colony Hotel. Breakwater. Breakwater, yep. It's basically Lego South Beach. Nice. For the roller bladers and bikinis. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, subs and fried chicken at Publix. Yeah, pub subs. Pub sub day. We used to have pub sub day all the time. The crispy chicken tender pub sub. Oh, that's our favorite. But can't. Now that would that would be. What is that thing? The banana boat, hot dog boat. That's cool. Is that Miami Beach too? No, no. The hot air balloon. Oh, there is a hot air balloon. It looks like it's downtown Miami. Is that the SunTrust building? Might be. See what else we have. This is so cool. This is still all Kennedy right here. Oh, you got nine minutes to launch. Nine minutes to launch. It's NASA. I do want to go to Kennedy. That'd be fun. We've never done that. Little Havana, Calle Ocho. Yep, see? Calle Ocho. <laughs> I'm a group in Miami. I know my Miami. Oh, Versailles. Oh, they're calling it Versailles. Versailles, like Versailles, France is a famous, oh, yeah, I see it, I see it. it's the best restaurant in Calle Ocho. They make the best Cuban food. They're famous. That's why they call, They just the couldn't best. copyright really everything. See the little frog hopping through the people? No. Mommy. I love Little Havana in Calle Ocho. It's so fun. It's just fun. Oh, and the food is amazing. The legs are moving. Oh, wow. And there's, it, no, it's not a frog. Maybe it's a lizard right there in front of the bench. Oh, that's a real lizard, though. <laughs> On that scale, he's a Komodo dragon. He's though. a Komodo dragon running through downtown Miami here in Calle Ocho. Wow. These are amazing. Oh, it's Vegas. Huh? What's with the giant chicken? They must have a display in front of that place. I only know Versailles. In a wrestling ring? In a wrestling ring. Oh, maybe like, that's cool. Must be a thing. Never saw that when I was there, but hey, must be a thing. This is still all downtown? No. Is it? This is Key West. Yes, it is. Okay. Seven Mile Bridge then. Seven Mile Bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's just different, you know, just something different. House with all the cats in front of it? They have the Sloppy, Sloppy Moe's instead of Sloppy Joe's Bar. Where's uh, the Hog's Breath? Uh, Hog's Breath? No, the, what is that bar at, in Key West at the very end? There's a southernmost point right there, 90 miles to Cuba. It's either Hog's Breath or Hog's Head. Hog's Head or Hog's Breath in, yep. It's been so long since I've been to Key West. We'll have to do that. It's fun. Key West is super fun. I mean, there's just so much to do in Florida. It's ridiculous. Oh, then you have Tampa. Mm -hmm. Downtown Tampa over there. Like Ybor City Ybor. and stuff. These are great. These cities are amazing. This is your favorite park and part of the park, Andreas? Yeah. Wow. And wings. They said Julie and Paula said they have the best fried chicken and wings here. Well, sold then, girl. Sold. Well, I don't know about that. Oh, well, yeah. Rob's pretty partial to fried chicken. So he's <laughs> nobody's going to meet be, beat homecoming fried chicken. And I'm pretty partial to homecoming fried chicken, too. It's delicious. That baby soaked in buttermilk for 24 hours. And it's organic local chicken 200 miles from Disney Springs. That chicken didn't travel across the country. <laughs> oh, 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 we got her. It got <laughs> It's like a camel, like the camels from uh, oh, Disney. Watch out, the camels, they spit. Oh, they're playing with the water thing. That's so cute. It'd be fun in the summer, though. Ooh, look at the Ferris wheel. This is so cool. Hey, guess it's the Orlando Eye. <laughs> I like how they're plugging their own attractions. They're fishing people out of the water. They're fishing people out of the water. What? Wait for it. Wait for it. Nice. Hog's Breath. Thanks, Melanie. Hog's Breath Saloon. The Key West Park. Oh, it's a mermaid. She's fishing a mermaid out and a seahorse. I don't know where that other thing is. It's a seahorse. Is it a seahorse? Did mm -hmm. it fall apart? I guess so. They have a lot of jet skis. 
Madame Tussauds. But this is the Coca-Cola Orlando I see life and Madame Tussauds. So we got annual passes to that too with our awesomer pass. It's kind of cool though. We'll have an aquarium one day. Yeah, I love how they they give you the little lanyard. I feel so special. And it tells you all your attractions you on there. I am special, special Ed. You know, you know, I am, I am special. Aren't you? <laughs> I'm a little crazy sometimes. I'm just enthusiastic. Oh. What? The button oh. is what pulls them up. So it's it's interactive. It's interactive. Got it. Got it. This is so cool. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, my goodness. What? They have Lego Star Wars days. You uh, just you just now saw that? I just now saw that. Okay, we got to come back. It's right next to the 5K dash that we walked past. I didn't even see that sign. I'm like, I'm like you know, Doug, squirrel. I am just get distracted. It's just so many cool things to see. But that's amazing. All right. Well, we're big Star Wars fans. We're going to have to check that out. Pirate ships. What? Oh, pirate ships. Yay. Well, maybe not pirate ships. Oh, my pleasure, Danielle. I mean, there is so much to do in Orlando. Dinosaurs. Central Florida. Dinosaurs. Where is this supposed to be? Mini golf. Yeah. Oh, but, or, oh still uh, Orlando, right? I think so. Cool. It's all mini. Oh, I guess this whole city is Orlando. It's parts of different Orlando. Oh, that's um, the port is in Tampa. That's oh gosh, they have the tram tours there. I still haven't done that. We need to go to to do the to see the port. The fort. Yes. Port. The fort. That's what I'm saying. Oh, this is the state capital, so it's Tallahassee. This is located in Tallahassee, Florida. Yep, that is the capital of Florida, Tallahassee. Home of the Florida State Seminoles. Go Noles. Go Noles. St. <laughs> Augustine. St. Augustine. Yeah, I've wanted to this. go there. They have like a ghost tour, famous landmarks, and they have a fort. This is the oldest, is the oldest continuously inhabited European settlement in North America. Founded in 1565. And they have like a haunted museum or something there too. Somebody was telling me that. I want to go check it out. It is the, Isn't that the oldest city in. Uh, yeah. It is the Castillo de San Marcos, a Spanish fort that guarded the town against pirates. Ooh, I like it. Oh no! Ship down! The ship is down! Wow. Yes, we are at Legoland today. That was the surprise. It was a theme park we've never been at. So. Wreck of the Spanish Galleon. Wreck of the Spanish What did they do to it? These are amazing. Yep, the city of St. Augustine. Oh, they have the Calesa. It's a Calesa, the horse-drawn carriage. What's the tower? I don't know. I know it's historical. We're going to have to go to St. Augustine one of these days. Yeah, I would love to go. What's this for? Florida's got so many things to do. World of China. What? Lego Kingdoms? Wow. Oh! Oh, no, no. Can't get the camera wet. Fire the cannons! Rob's firing the cannons. He's having way too much fun. Hey, Mom. Oh, they got jaws. They got a big shark over here. Heather, it is pretty awesome. It looks fun. Yeah, I want to do the ghost tour for sure. That was cool. Well, we'll have to go back for sure. We got a pass now so we can go back as often as we can. <laughs> Why not? We're going to use it to our utmost capability here. Are you guys? Oh, you drank it all? I want more soda, though, because I'm thirsty. Too late. Can you get me some bubbly water? Or it's all gone. It's all gone. We'll have to find a freestyle station. I need a drink. So what is this? It's just pirates. Oh. It's just a big pirate settlement. Since you're right next to St. Augustine, it would make sense. And I know 
know they have the Gasparilla Festival in Tampa. It might be Gasparilla because they do a whole pirate festival here too in Tampa. We've never gone because it's the same weekend as Megacon and we can't ever not go to Megacon. That's kind of like... That's our thing. It's kind of our thing. San Francisco! Favorite. Is that the Golden Gate? That's the Golden Gate. Yep. San Francisco. Yep. Rice-a-roni? Oh, you're welcome, Kate. My pleasure. We're just trying to give you guys different things to challenge. We're trying to do different things in and around Central Florida because there's so many other attractions here. It's not just the San Francisco, San Francisco treat. Ding, ding. <laughs> oh, the sea lions. Does it smell like sea lions too? Oh, the sea lions are scr <laughs> cannon. No, nope. I'm over here. Oh, the bus is driving. It's un oh okay. Oh, there it is, the Transamerica Tower downtown. Honey, look, you got Transamerica Tower and Lombard Street, the crookedest street in the world. I know San Francisco pretty well. My grandpa lived in downtown San Francisco, so this is awesome. You've been down Lombard Street, right? Okay, because Rob worked up and down. Uh, it is much curvier than that. Yeah, it's way curvier than that. Lombard is, and it's on a hill. It's really hard to drive stick in San Francisco. But there's Transamerica building. And all the Victorian, oh look at the full house house, the Victorian homes, that's right. Okay, it's 1.30. Thanks for the time check, keeping us in time here, which is good. To get distracted. It's like, wow, so much stuff to see. This try. oh, yeah. What is, what is this? Museum of Modern Art? Because it's by Chinatown. I've walked from Transamerica. I've walked through Chinatown. I did a lot of walking. <laughs> But they do have awesome, awesome food and shopping at Chinatown, for sure. I think that bicyclist is tired. Bicyclist is tired? He's oh no, down. he fell down, go boom. Oh, Lego Hollywood, but that's the... Brahms Chinese Theater? Yes. <laughs> the Brahms. Oh, and they got a Madame Tussauds there too. That's the original Chinese Theater, but Lego Wood. By the, um, what is it called? The Griffith Observatory. The Griffith Observatory, that's it. Hollywood Bowl, Hollywood Bowl. I'm like, I've been to these places for real, but it's been a, it's been a minute, you know? So yeah, that's the Hollywood Bowl. I've been there, seen a concert there. Yep, Griffith Observatory and your, your, New York. what? New York, we're in New York. Oh, we're moving upward and onward here, okay. Oh yeah, the Disney Family Museum. Yeah, we'll have to do that like when we go on our California trip. That would be fun. Ooh, Washington Monument. Oh, and there's a in their band. Cool. to time yeah yeah there's rides we haven't been on any rides yet but there are rides you have the map they may not let you take the equipment on the we'll ride. see we'll see well I can go on a ride or you can go on a ride and I'll film or something like that you know we'll see what works Grand Central Station Chrysler Building Once you start, you just can't let go. Yeah. Let me see the map. Yeah, the map. And you just want to see what the rides are. Yeah, there's a bunch of rides. I know there's a Ninjago ride. And your rides look like the rides and attractions. There's the driving school. I knew that was a ride. I've heard. Oh, here we go. Oh, these are ride heights. Does it have it divided up into rides then? No. 
mean, it looks like that's a roller coaster, and there's a roller coaster there. So there's a bunch of rides. You can see them. They're everywhere. We just haven't gotten there. We're right here right now. We're, we're, we're the city. Where's the city? Miniland USA. Okay, so we're here. And we got to get there, which is right over yep. there. We got to get to Pirate's Cove. Oh, sorry, baby. So I whack you. We got time to see our uh, little show, our, our pir er, pirate show, our ski show. Water pirate ski. ski show. Pirate ski show. Yeah. And then we'll go find some rides. I know they have a whole Ninjago oh, section. Vegas. Yes. Okay. This I know really well. The stratosphere. That is the stratosphere. Madame Tussauds. Madame Tussauds Vegas. That's like the back of Red Rock Canyon there. We can go like RVing and dirt bike riding and all of that shenanigans. Yep. The stratosphere. See, I knew that. <laughs> This is the Venetian Resort, one of my favorite resorts in Las Vegas. It has gondolas inside and outside, actually. It's got a Sephora right at the base of this. Why didn't I put the Sephora in? The Sephora is right there at the end of that. Rude. <laughs> yep, the Venetian. It is awesome. It's probably like my favorite hotel in Vegas is the Venetian. Paris. And you, there is a Eiffel Tower ride, so you can take it all the way to the top. And there's the restaurant. MGM Grand. It's a good place to say they're shooting a movie, it looks like. It's an excellent place to say because you're at the Four Corners. You actually have, yep, the MGM, the Tropicana, New York, New York, across the street, which we don't have in the diorama in the city here and then you have um, the Excalibur on the other side of the Tropicana. Well, oh never mind it's on the other side. Gosh <laughs> it was literally across the street. I didn't even turn around to look. That is awesome. Well they do have it all. Never mind. Yep. The Excalibur and the Luxor. Oh, let me go down this way and go back down. We've got the Mirage with the exploding volcano. In this case, it's the exploding uh, water volcano. Yeah, that's awesome, buddy. I love that. That's cool. And then you have Treasure Island where they used to have the, uh, the tiger show, you know, and no more. Okay. That's crazy. They have like full blown Las Vegas here. This is great. Yeah. Vegas is a fun place to visit, just not a good place to live. <laughs> Too much craziness in Vegas. Yeah, Excalibur is very kid friendly, you know, that's more that. But this Four Corners is an excellent place to stay because you're kind of in the middle of the strip, like close to everything. The Luxor, love the Luxor. They just do. They have an inclinator, not an escalator or an elevator. It's an inclinator because it goes up at the angle of the pyramid. What? Super fun. Yeah. All right. Looks like that's the stadium right over there. And there's the bay. What's the name of the bay? Is it saying? <laughs> you gotta keep referring to the maps. Pirate Bay. Pirate Bay? Is that what it is? That's what we're calling. Pirate's Cove. Pirate's Cove. That's what it's called. Yeah. Pirate's Cove. Yep, we're headed there right now. We're walking. We're walking. How's that? Trying to get around. It says Legoland Water Park opens March 10th. It should be open now then because it today is March 10th. Alright, we've got some signage. So this was Miniland. This is where we were. And we're headed over to Cypress Gardens, the water park, and Pirates Cove Stadium. I'm gonna go watch the show. Ooh, I want to go on that ride. <laughs> we got a half hour. We got a half hour. Ooh, Florida Fish and Wildlife. Here we 
Gab sponsored by Florida Fish and Wildlife. Proudly sponsors Big Balls. Oh, driving school. Haven't done that yet. That looks nice, Liz. That's awesome. Yeah, I was there. I was in Vegas five and a half years. Otters. Alligator. Alligator. Oh, it's a Lego gator. He's awful green. Yeah. Or something in there. Keep walking. Yeah, we'll keep walking well, this way. The only thing this way is the water park. And the Cypress Gardens. Oh, and the gardens. Okay. So let's walk around. That might be the throwback to Cypress Gardens gardens. And whatever that ride is, that looks cool. As long as it's not spinny, I'll go on it. <laughs> looks like there's quite a few coasters. I'll have to read that map here. You see, honey? I'm just going to read it, see if there's more like names of rides and things. Because it's just kind of all in one map. They don't say rides, attractions, food. It's just um, names of everything all in one. Is there... Oh, rides and attractions is the Lego blocks. The Lego blocks, okay. But it doesn't distinguish whether it's a ride or it's an attraction. Huh. Maybe we can tell from the name of the ride. <laughs> I'll read the map when we sit down, because that way I can read through it. Kids Bop Stadium. Oh, okay. Lego Technique. Technique? <laughs> That's a technique. Might not be open yet. Okay, well. I'm pretty. Oh, that's the VR coaster. That's what they're building. The it doesn't look very VR, though. Oh, it's probably a headset, like what you wear at SeaWorld. Like you're wearing a... It goes over your eyes. So it's probably like the one at SeaWorld, yeah. There's Pirate's Cove. Okay, oh, there we go. We're headed towards Pirate's Cove. We're going to make it. We're going to make it. That way we get good seats. <laughs> I don't think it's like Disney, that We've got to be there like an hour before. Looks like we've got some, some time. And I like not having the crowds. It's very relaxing. I like a relaxing theme park experience, you know? <laughs> it's kind of a nice change, you know, for a bit. Oh yeah, there we go, cool. Cypress Gardens. Cypress Gardens. Cove Ooh, look at all the, oh, people are water skiing. Are they warming up? That's awesome. Imagination. I am just frightened to go on any water in Florida, you know? I always tell you guys that, don't do it. But I assume they troll the lake. They do have a, uh, what do you call that? A, a barrier. But still, that's not blocking out anybody or anything. <laughs> really? It's just yep. swim at your own risk, water ski at your own risk. <laughs> As a rule, I do not go into any fresh water. Most Floridians don't. We know better. <laughs> you know, because you never know. You've got critters that get, nature will always find a way, just like the great uh, Malcolm, Dr. Malcolm said in Jurassic Park. <laughs> nature always finds a way. Ooh, look how pretty the birds. Life always, life always finds a way. But well, maybe it was nature. I think it was nature. Just that I've seen it on the new um, Jurassic World trailers. Look at that bird, he's pretty. Spanish moss is what reminds me so much, like I know I'm in the south when I start seeing Spanish moss on trees because it only grows in the South. So I know it's like a parasitic symbiotic relationship between the tree and the, um, you know, and the moss. More maps, but I'll read. Oh, cool. It's just a... It's all upper body strength. Oh, thanks, Paula. Life finds a way, like you said. That's it. So it was life finds a way? Life finds a way. Yeah, you're right. You're welcome. Go and dive off the falls. No, I'm good. I'm good. No stagnant water either. Any fresh water I won't do. I'll go to the beach. I'll go to the ocean before I'll go anywhere else. But I've done like um, 
And there's the sign, exactly warning you of things, so you don't get all crazy. You don't do it. It's mangroves. They love this kind of water. Mangrove being dark. Let's, we can walk through. Yeah, just walk through real quick. We got time. We got a little bit of time, so we'll just do a quick walk through. Please use caution. No. <laughs> Let's have fun and be safe. Alligator snakes and other animals can be on the trail. Oh, I like how they are like them. Um... Yes, it is unlawful and dangerous. It is a misdemeanor. So, and it even quotes state law 37.667. Okay. <laughs> we'll do. We will do. We will not feed alligators because then they lose your, you know, then they lose their fear and then you're, you're done for. You pretty much. Do not feed the Halliberry gators. Don't eat the Halliberry gators or the crocogators like you call them, the crocogators. <laughs> no. Crocogators. I don't see any crocogators. All right. June and July, breeding season, they definitely come out more. Oh, there's tiki's in the tiki 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 room. In the tiki 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 room. <laughs> you got a little tiki. Yeah, I'm chicken. No, I'm good, I'm good. I'm trying to stay alive, not be lunch for an alligator. I'm, I'm not that silly. I said, don't, don't be, tell him, don't, be don't tell him, Carlos, don't be cheeking. Yep, I guess we're not allowed to go in there. It's pretty. I mean, it's beautiful, actually, in its own way. Yeah, they just block off all the water. That way you can't get in the water. I don't want to drown either. It would be bad. Bad for business. They're like right on the water, right on the water. Do you see? Cypress knees? Yeah, cypress knees is, oh, these are knees, yeah. Yes, a human nugget. It's just like nature as, oh, what was in the water? Something just flopped over there. Probably a fish. A fish or turtles. Yeah, mangroves are like notorious. And all these weeds, yeah, there's something in there. <laughs> Historic gazebo. Okay. And banyan tree. And banyan trees. Oh, oh, look at the birdie. <gasps> the big birdie by the cypress knees. He's just chilling. That's really cool. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, you know there's something lurking in that water. Mm -mm. Lurk, 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 lurk. Oh, and more signs. They just stay. I mean, this isn't much. I mean, if he really wanted to come through that gate, he could. It's not much barrier between you and the and the and the bay. You know. Oop. Hey, dragonfly. Dragonfly wanted to say hi. Yep, here we're coming towards the banyan tree. It says banyan tree to your left or to your right. Which well, it says exit to your left or your right. Oh, oh, it must all end up in the same. There's a lot of cypress knees. Knees everywhere. <laughs> hey, welcome Marina from the ne Netherlands. Julie, yep. Oh, cool. Wow. Yep, photo op, absolutely. I just, this is like the best time of year because the weather's cool, so it feels delightful. <laughs> you know, this is, as long as it doesn't rain, yeah, this is perfect park weather. Overcast and in the 70s, this is perfect. You're not sweating, it's wonderful. Signs of the banyan trees this way, but I wanna go over here by the water because I'm kinda crazy like that. I like to risk my life. <laughs> Just to look, see if there's, I'm nosy. See if there's any critters. Cypress trees live for hundreds of years. These strange trees grow in shallow lake water, spreading roots out in all directions. A few roots dive downward to the lake's bottom to anchor the tree. The trees are also unique because they have knees, which extend above the water line and provide oxygen to the roots. The trees' needles shed every fall and the tree remains bald until oh. 
or during the winter months. Gotcha. That's why they're called bald cypress. Bald cypress. So are the cypress trees the bee's knees then? Yep. No? no? Okay. Just checking. Yeah. There's got to be critters somewhere, but water might be too choppy for them, but I wouldn't doubt it. you got water on either side of you. <laughs> Just don't walk during dusk. Oh, Sago Palm. Sago, Sago. You got some boats out there. It's beautiful out here. I the, I don't remember being here. It's been, I mean, I probably Sago, was very little. Say me. Where is the banyan tree? Is it up there? Did we miss it? We'll walk all the way around. Yeah, we got to get back. Look at the time. Let's see the time. Oh, we got some time. Okay. But we can walk back and claim a seat. Yeah, we can walk back and claim a seat. That way we get a good vantage point for the show. I want to sit in front. <laughs> or a little up higher, a little bit. All right, how do we get back around? <laughs> exit. Oh, you mean where it says exit. There we go. Yeah, people are out there on boats and jet skis, so that's pretty cool. Hunter's robe or pothos. Deep yellow and green variegate, variegated leaves that grow on this vine range drastically in size. As a potted plant, the leaves do not grow to be more than four inches wide. If the same plant is growing up the side of a tree, the leaves can grow as large as two feet in diameter. Oh my gosh, that's a big plant. All these little creeks. Yep, you don't dangle anything. <laughs> I always tell you, you don't know what's down there. You just Actually, you can see the bottom. Yeah, you can oh, yeah, I know you can, but still. Like you said, not trying oh there's a lakefront view, so if you go further up this way there's more No, we were just on the lakefront view here. Oh, okay. It just that was whips the lake you around. We were looking out at. Right. They're just whipping us around, I guess. Make a roundabout, roundabout way to get out. Alright. It's pretty. It's kind of nice to see like traditional, very, very Florida trees, you know, these are, it doesn't look like there's much, well obviously the hurricane was a while ago, this is a big tree, here's the historical banyan tree, here's your photo op right here, this baby is massive, it looks like something out of like the never ending story or something. That's something you just want to climb. Yeah. Wow. You're not a moss girl. No, it doesn't make me nervous. I just keep my eye, I just keep aware. <laughs> just make sure there's no critters crawling anywhere. The roots. Yeah, it's definitely a good place to photo op or shoot a video or a movie because it's very, very cool looking. It's neat. Oh, we have monks. Like statues of monks. You gotta get to the stadium. Yeah. There's a fountain. This is St. Francis of Assisi? Probably. It looks like it. Or they're, they're Franciscan monks, so I just want to know if it is a statue of St. Francis. Probably. <laughs> yep, St. Francis of Assisi. Patron saint of the birds. Yep. Is it the prayer of St. Francis? <laughs> Ooh, no see -ums. I don't know why they call them no see because you can see them. No, Ugh. Those, aren't no -ums. those are gnats. Those are gnats. Ugh. It's cool out and the gnats are still out. <laughs> as long as they don't bite, we're in business. <laughs> All right, let's go watch the show. 
Oh, there's the water park. People are at the water park though. Today's the first day the water park opened. It said March 10th, so. It's a, it's a day that you probably don't get sunburnt because there's no sun out. Yeah. There's people there on the slide, or up top. Yeah, there's people on top. There's lifeguards and stuff. We'll have to come back when it's warmer. <laughs> I said Floridians don't get in the water till it's like 90 degrees. <laughs> Too cold. Yeah, it's very pretty. Oh, look at that, the bougainvillea. That's gorgeous. Yeah, we're inside the Cypress Gardens part of Legoland. Like Tafiti? Oh yeah, it does. It does kind of look like Tafiti's head. That's cool. Here's Yip, the historic gazebo, it says. We got 15 minutes, they're giving us a time check. Perfect. Thank you. Photo op! <laughs> Sorry, I was just checking the time there. Yep, it's pretty. Probably good, like, like wedding pictures and stuff. I could see people doing their wedding pictures and stuff here. Oh, this is where we came in. We went around like the little mangrove lake here. I like this whole part. It's very spooky. <laughs> Stand there long enough, you're gonna find critters, I think. Hey, Bob, welcome. Yep, is that good now? Is that better? Okay. So pretty. It is. It's downhill. Wee. We've only tried the Rice Krispie treat so far, so we're gonna try more things. Ooh. Better than Disney, not as good as Universal. Yeah, better than Disney's Rice Krispie treats. Oh, it's construction. <laughs> I'm like, what's going on in there? <laughs> No, they're doing some, some work, construction work. <laughs> yep, 201, thanks, Alicia. Yep, we're headed towards the uh, Pirate's Cove. We're gonna go see our pirate show. Yeah, I saw that, we saw that. We were gonna, yeah, look, they look really good with the car caramel, I just, caramel. I don't know if it's caramel or caramel. I always say caramel but dipping sauce. So definitely gonna try that. Today's a cheat day, so we're all about it. <laughs> the apple fries. Bob said we have to try the, op the apple fries. They're really good. So. Apple fritas. Apple fritas, and it's a fruit. Can't be that bad for you. <laughs> well, but then you slather it in caramel. Yeah, but it's delicious. Mm. Yeah, it feels good. Like it's it's cool out. Not cold, it's just cool. It feels delightful. Oh nice. Yeah, the gators are building things. Oh thanks, Liz. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna try that. I wanna try the fried chicken. Because they said they had really good fried chicken here, so we're gonna, <laughs> that's what I want for lunch. And the wings, you guys said fried chicken and wings. Eagles there. Eagles. All right. Let's get down there and find ourselves a seat. Oh, yeah. You want to see the bad guy pirates? Oh, that's what the kid is saying. I'm like, yeah.
think we're good, guys. I think we're good. <laughs> yeah, it's a water show. It's a, a live uh, ski show, water ski show. Yeah, this is at Legoland, Florida. Well, we have a bunch of different things. We're going to go through the park map here, see if there's anything exciting. There's still more park up top, I guess. Past the Cypress Gardens and stuff. Oh, that's the water park up there. Okay, at the very end is the water park. Oh, there's a Lego Ninjago world. Lego Mindstorm. All these different attractions. Ooh, Pharaoh's Revenge. Six and up. That looks like fun. Right up here. Okay, so right up here looks like the more like the ride areas and stuff. So we'll have to check that out. There's a whole bunch of places that we haven't gone to yet. So we just wanted to see the show first and we got to see the mini land USA that was pretty cool we got all this land of adventure and Ninjago Lego Ninjago world looks like there's a coaster right there too so oh yeah Silver Springs is still open yes they are that's definitely still open Disney and be here like an hour before the show. So we're good. No, I have Try to find where the fried chicken is. That's important. Where be the fried chicken? No, not that I see any pirates over here. No, no pirates in here. Whoa! Woo! <laughs> Sorry, you guys startled me there. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Oh, now, come on, everybody. You are vacationing in a land of Lego. How's everybody doing today? Yeah! Well, <laughs> I wish I could say we were doing the same. Sorry about the mess. I, I know I'm not really fit to be receiving visitors. Let me introduce myself. My name is Phil. Now, I know what you're all thinking. He looks like a young Johnny Depp. No, you're saying, how did he ever get a name like Salty? Well, you see, kids, back in the day, when you called someone a salt, it meant they were a sailor. So I'm Salty the Sailor. But I didn't always used to be a sailor. In fact, if you don't tell anybody, I used to be a, uh, a pirate. Ooh. Ah, settle down. Yes, I was a pirate, and I was on the crew of one of the meanest, the smelliest, the most yellow-looking pirates, this side of Pirate's Cove. Maybe you heard of him, Captain Brickbeard. That's right. I spent my days out on the open sea, going off ramps, doing flips, burning, pillaging, plundering! <laughs> I, I don't do that anymore. No, 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 I was redeemed by the grace and kindness of the Admiral's daughter, the lovely, the talented, the beautiful, the elegant, Miss Miranda <sighs> Valentina. In fact, it's Miss Miranda and the Imperial Navy who are in charge here at Pirate's Cove. They keep, they keep the cove free of pirates. She single-handedly captured Brickbeard's ship, the Bounty, and all of its crew, including this guy, 
But she must have liked me, because she gave me two choices. She said, Salty, either you can stay here, serve on my crew, defend the cove against pirates, or be sent out to sea without but, that, nothing but a pair of water skis to keep you company. So uh, I think I made the right career move there. And so I just do your basic, you know, normal sailor jobs. I mop the docks, I poop deck. Uh, but today I have something very important. Miss Miranda has sent me out here to find some new recruits for her Imperial Navy. So how would you guys like to help me out today? Yeah? Excellent. One quick question. Anybody out here, have you ever been or currently serving as a pirate? Raise your hand. If you could stand up and just get out of here. I'm just kidding. I just, except for you, sir. Security. Keep an eye on you. Now, as members of the Imperial Navy, it will be your job to correctly identify a pirate, more specifically, the nefarious Captain Brickbeard. And I'm going to teach you guys how to do that right now, okay? So we're going to split you up into sections here. This is section number one. Section number one, how we doing? We are going to be, any of you guys know what Captain Brickbeard looks like? Because not a lot of people do. You know what, let me show you guys what he looks like. Everybody here, stand up. Come on, everybody on your feet. Mom and dad's too. You're on vacation. You're never going to see these people again. There you go. All right, now Captain Rickbeard is an odd-looking guy. He is missing an eye. In fact, he has a patch where his eye should be. So everybody take your hand, just like this, section number one. Put it over your eye. Great. He's also missing a hand. He has a hook where his hand should be. So everybody take your hand, make a little hook. All right. Captain Rickbeard is also missing a leg. So everybody go out there, stand on one leg. Perfect. You look just like him. Hold that position. I'll be back with you in a minute. All right, section number two. How are we doing today? Excellent. Well, we know what a pirate looks like. Section number one. Thank you, sir. We know what a pirate looks like. Do you guys know what a pirate smells like? Well, let me say it smells really bad, like dead fish, dirty socks mixed together. I'm going to show you guys a signal to tell everyone that you smell a pirate. So section two, stand up for me real quick. Here we go, everybody. It's nice and easy. Mom and dad's too. There you go. All right, hand out to the side. Now put it back in front of your face. Now move it up. Move it down. Move it up. Down, up, down. You guys are getting it. Okay, how about the left hand? There you go. How about both hands? Ah, how about out to the side? Don't do that. You look silly. This guy just flew into Legoland. Where are my arms tired? <laughs> You're too much. All right, section number three. How are you guys today? Excellent. We know what a pirate looks like. Section one, we, never mind. Section two, we know what a pirate smells like. Do you guys know what a pirate sounds like? Ooh, I think we have some pirate experts here. But just to make sure everybody in the crowd knows, on the count of three, I want you to give the biggest piratey R you can, okay? One, two, three. Perfect. You are all now members of the Imperial Navy. I'm gonna call you my junior soldiers. And your first order of duty, junior soldiers, Give yourselves a big round of applause. Very nicely done. Excellent job. I'd like to introduce you to somebody. He's very special to me. He's right over here. His name is Pepper the Parrot. Hiya, Pepper. Now, Pepper is an odd bird. He hates flying. In fact, he took a train in from South America just to be with us here. Yeah, Pepper, that's what you told me. You said if you even think about flying, you just fall to pieces. <laughs> You're going to want to start laughing at the jokes now. They're not going to get better than this. Get your money's worth. There you go. <laughs> now, Pepper, he's our official lookout here at Pirates Cove. He keeps an eye on the horizon. If he sees a pirate, he'll squawk out, Pirates! That's your cue, Junior Soldiers, when you hear Pepper to yell out pirates as loud as you can. So let's go ahead and give it a try right now. Pepper first, then you. Pepper, go! You guys! Hey, Junior Soldiers! That was... Pretty terrible. Let's do it again. Now remember, these are the nastiest, stinkiest, smelliest, worst pirates ever, so yell as loud as you can. One more time. Pepper, go! You got it! Yes! That's what I'm talking about. That would have alerted me, Miss Miranda, the Imperial Navy, our secret weapon, which we'll tell you about a little bit later. Oh, one more thing. As you were coming in today, someone out front probably told you if you're sitting in the first five rows, you're in the blue zone and that you may get a little wet. Well, I'm here to tell you that's a lie. You're not going to get wet. You're going to get completely and utterly soaked. That's right, so enjoy the show. Sit back, relax, enjoy the beauty here at Pirate's Show. Oh, you know what? We still call it Pirate's Show, but I can be, I can be reassured there are no more pirates here, okay? But uh, just in case, Let's all keep a weathered eye on the horizon. Sit back and listen to the tale 
of the battle for the Whitfield Bounty. We don't want to be stupid. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away from every place else, but actually quite close to here, <laughs> was a charming little lagoon, a happy harbor called Pirate's Cove. Now, you might think that any cove called Pirate's would be a dark and dangerous place, full of villains and thugs, and in fact, you'd be right most of the time. But this Pirate's Cove was a merry village full of frolic and fun. Happy place of celebration! Thanks, we're done. 
Now let's double time it back to the dock. We've got some thrills to go over. <laughs> Miss Miranda, I have personally overseen to the training and the preparation of this entire group of soldiers. Thank you, Salty. I can see they've been well trained. We must stand on guard and protect Pirate's Cove from Captain Brickbeard and his crew of nasty pirates. Miss Miranda, I promise, us, me and the soldiers are going to do whatever it takes to protect this dock. And here they come now, ladies and gentlemen, our Imperial Lego soldiers! One, two, three, four, you yeah, had a good one with your left, your right, soldier number one! Spectacular as always. Come, uh, Hey, 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 where are you guys going? Come show you. need to get in line, okay? Soldier number three, wait. Oh, no. It's showtime, not hug time. Okay. Imperial soldiers, line up and report for duty. Thank you. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. And four. Four? Four. Wait. Oh, no, no. we're missing four. Salty, where can he be? Well, there, there was four out there. What happened to where... Oh no, not this guy! Oh no! Hey, hey, soldier, do not head towards that ramp! Get up, get down, get the hell! Sorry, he's a, he's a couple Lego bricks short of a full load. You know what? He's never gonna listen to me. I'm gonna need your guys' help. On the count of three, I need you to yell, get back to your soldier as loud as you can, okay? One, two, three! Wow, you guys are good! Alright! He's coming back! All right, no more flybys today there, Maverick, okay? Let's wrap this up. You blockhead. Get back to the dock, you big show-off. Boy. Pep, I told you. There's no pirates in Pirate's Cove. In fact, they wouldn't come back here for all the gold that we got off of Brickbeard's ship, The Bounty. Soldiers. At ease. Now, here at Pirate's Cove, we run a very tight ship. We do that by following three simple rules. Number one, discipline. Number two, also discipline. Number three, never wear white after Labor Day. Kids, ask your parents. All right, guys, so they... Oh, no. Guys, not dancing. Discipline. If Miss Miranda sees them dancing, she is going to... Dance right along with them. Uh, well, I guess when in Pirate's Cove. Oh, yeah, freestyle! Tell you you're under arrest. All right, get him, boys! Come on! Wait a second. Hey, Miss Miranda, brawn and beauty. How about that? Yeah! Way to go! Well, it is my pleasure to tell you, by order of the Imperial Navy, you are under arrest. You stinky, smelly. What is that, dude? That is right, man. What is that? Nah. -uh. It's not Miss Miranda. Miss Miranda smells like roses. And I know, because I smell her all the time. Uh, what? What, oh, what's, what do you got there? Oh, no! What do you do with that thing? <laughs> oh, that is tough. Oh, that's a hard sell. Huh? What, what are you doing? What do you think you're doing? What do you think? No! This is a children's show. Don't try that at home, boys and girls, okay? What is, oh, no, it was all a dastardly plan. He slipped right out from underneath our noses. Don't stop Miss Miranda, stop the pirates, guys! Oh my! Ah! He is off and on the run! Wait a second! He's not running! He's water skiing on his bare feet backwards, folks! Have a that? That's 
pretty cool. You're still under arrest, though. Wow, that was pretty neat. I guess you could call that quite the feat, huh? <laughs> oh boy, this is bad. Almost as bad as the jokes. Man, I've lived here in Pirate's Cove a long time. I have never seen a pirate. You know what we need to do? Get our secret weapon. Because if, uh, Pepper, have you seen Saw 2? Wait, hold on a second. I haven't told you guys yet. Saw 2 is our secret weapon. Saw 2 is a stealth shark. And he's sleeping somewhere here around the cove. Now, legend has it, he's responsible for Rick Beard's peg leg, and he's waiting for the captain to put his leg in on the other side to even up the score, if you know, if you know what I mean. Now, he's a deep sleeper. So on the count of three, I need everybody out here to yell, wake up, Sawtooth, okay? One, two, three. Wake up, Sawtooth! Wake up, wake up, Sawtooth! Aw, oh, Sawtooth. Did you have tuna salad for breakfast again? Was that what you Oh, no! <laughs> Sawtooth, we talked about this. You have to brush and then floss, you know! Oh my god, it's in my mouth now, that is... <laughs> pirates? No, 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 a ginger vitus. No, oh, oh, there is a pirate! No, no, man, man, your battle stations. Go with Miss Miranda, you, come with me. All right, so it looks like only one pirate, so we should be okay. As long as there's not another pirate, there's not another pirate. Oh no! Miss Miranda, what are we gonna do? Something. Load the cannon! You're right! We you can load the cannon! Here we go! Alright! We're going to... Ah! Eight again! Load the cannon! Ready! Hey! Fire the cannon! Can we get him? That's okay. We, we, we got another second time to charm, right? So, what's good for the goose is good for the pirates. Okay, we got it in. We got it loaded here. What is he doing out there? Taking a nap? That's what you call a lazy pirate. He's just sitting down on the job, as you can see. It's funny if I explain it to you. You see, he's sitting. And, oh! That was my fault, wasn't it? Oh, man. Oh, this is, this is bad. This is way bad. You know, Miss Miranda always says, where there's one pirate, there's bound to be more. Now we've seen three in one day. We gotta get serious. We need to run those drills. Gentlemen, about face. About face the other way. Now, forward, march. Salty, this is getting serious. It's time for a real pirate drill. Right away, Miss Miranda, I'm trying my I'm best. I'm going to patrol the cove and look for those pirates. Well, don't leave me, Miss Miranda. I can't do this by myself. I love you. Uh, uh, you know what? It's time for that moment we've all been waiting for. It's time now, junior soldiers. For oh! Stage, get an Excedrin. You're in charge. Uh, you with the yellow face. Yes, there you are. Perfect. Thank you. You just stay in charge and everything should be okay. All right? You guys have a great day, okay? No, 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 no! It's the pirates back again! All right. Okay. Four times the charm, I think. Okay, ready? Aim. Oh man, this is loud. Duck and cover, everybody! Wait, oh, you know what? I didn't say fire the cannon. That's wrong! Yeah, good news, that cannon works.
woods, everybody. Uh-oh. Here's the bad news, though. It looks like it's bringing them right into our stage. Oh, no! The Pirates! Wait just a second. Who do you guys think you are, huh? No. The Pirates! Yeah. And on behalf of Captain Brickbeard, we lay claim to this ship. Pirates go! Yeah, well, on behalf of Miss Miranda, we're not gonna let you do that, okay? Soldiers, this is what we've trained for. Ready? Attack! Go! Wait, that's the worst thing you can do! Oh my goodness! Come on, soldier! Oh, let's wait, 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 this isn't fair! Hold on! Hold on! Hey, soldiers, look out! It's a trap!
stop by, but I think you overstayed your welcome. You see, here at Pirates Cove, we have a strict no piracy rule, and you have committed several severe violations. Number one, you're a pirate, duh. Number two, you smell really bad. You may want to see a doctor about that. And number three, perhaps the worst of all, in your treasure chest, we found an unregistered bootlegged copy of the Lego Batman video game. Everyone say shame! Everyone say Brickbeard, that's low, even for you. I guess all I can say now is my soldiers have you surrounded! Salty! All of your junior soldiers have won this time! <laughs> that's right, with the help of my junior soldiers in this Miranda, we learn not to be bullied by the likes of you, and uh, Speaking of your loyal crew, it looks like they left you high and dry, Captain, without a leg. Oh, to stand on! You get it! Just back here, when you least expect it, we will return once again to claim Pirate's Call! Now, oh, let's see who gets the last laugh. Soldiers, take him away! Way to go, Junior Soldiers! Everyone, in honor of our very historic triumphant victory here at Pirates Go today, Miss Miranda has done something very special for us. Look at this! She has roused the entire Imperial Navy!
Yeah, that's true. That's true. Universal people does think that they can charge Disney prices sometimes. <laughs> They're like five dollars cheaper. That's it. Although, well, okay. Five bucks. Yeah, it's only five bucks. I was gonna say, in all fairness, when they did up their prices, though. They just happened to do it before Disney, because Disney then upped their prices as well. No, it always does before. They do it after. Right. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is Disney upped their prices after Universal did, so then it wasn't yeah. as bad. Yeah, but then still. it doesn't as bad, but still, it's still pretty high. I think Universal was more painful on the pocket than anything, because it's like almost $200 down for the preferred, and then like almost $300 down well, for the I mean, premier. it's still cheaper than Disney. Right, but the down payment's high. I mean, it's fun. It's oh, okay. It's definitely more for kids. A lot of kids are having fun. Um, they got to do the water cannons. That's the only reason you got wet because they they get to play with the water cannons. I sat so right in the middle, cool. and all the water landed around me. Oh, good. Or that works out me. good. I just didn't want to get you guys wet. That's all. So we're supposed to go up oh, and over okay. through there. Yeah. <laughs> Still fun. So why don't we end this stream here and then go restart another. Just so I don't get too lengthy. And I'll see you guys here in like two minutes. Here we go.